Hey, so today we are talking about partial commits and where can they be useful and how to perform them when you're when we are working with Coparo. So Salesforce recommends that every developer should have their own individual developer sandbox and they should be moving they change they should be doing the changes on their own dev sandbox and then moving them through the pipeline. But many times due to several different reasons, uh lot of developers might be sharing a sandbox as well. This could be due to data limits, sandbox limits and a bunch of other things. But uh, it's it's quite a common scenario to have a lot of developers share a single development sandbox as well. And when that's the case, it's quite possible that developers might tiptoe on each other's shoes uh, where they are working on or just overwrite each other's changes that could become quite problematic as well as not only that when you are trying to deploy changes out of this shared environment you might inadvertently take along some in progress changes that should have been left behind as well so in order to deal with that problem we can use something called as partial commits and how do we do that so in order to do that we'll have to go into vs code and do it from there so what I've done so far is that I've just created a new user story, user story 23, and now we're going to uh, set that user story on a VS code and go from there. What we'll try to... Uh, what we'll try to do or emulate over here is that uh, let's try to edit one of the classes. So right now the credential that I've chosen is the DX Dev1 environment, which I have got open over here. And let's try to make a few changes over here. And then we'll see how we can how we can partially commit just a bunch of changes and not everything. So, all right, so let's come up over here. So, and let's add one more, which will say, similarly, let's change something over here. Perfect. So we have added a few com comments over here in this particular Apex class and uh, let's assume this first and this this line number 7 and 9 were done by developer 1 and these changes are actually ready and they should be committed and moved on to the next environments whereas line number 8 is, was added by some other developer and this should stay on over here. And similarly, we have line number 29, which is still in progress, line number 30, which is in progress, uh, but line number 31 has been completed, um, which is ready to be moved to the next environment. Now, for just for this example, we only have a couple of comments over here, but this could be complete new methods or as long, as many changes as possible and still will have the same ability to cherry pick or selectively stage or partially commit the changes uh, that we just want to move on. So I have committed these changes onto on, on this class in the dev1 environment. Let's come to VS Code, see what's happening. So we ran work set command. Now I'm on user story 23. Let's open up this Apex class, which is the account list update. I'm going to retrieve my changes, the latest changes that I've done that have been made to this class, to this Apex class from the org. So hopefully the comments that we have done should be, should come up over here. And like we can see, the comments are over here. And these are new lines that are getting added, which can be seen through these green lines that are over here. If I go into the source control view, I can see the same thing again that these three lines are new and these three lines are new as well. Now we, m me, myself, uh, my, uh, being, being the developer who has completed uh, his own changes and just wants to move them. What I'm, I, what I am going to do is I'm going to right click on this line and 
select the stage selected ranges option because I only want to stage this one line that I've done and then I'm going to stage uh, this uh, apologies I think I staged both the lines let me revert my change I'm not gonna say what I did let's come back on stage this okay perfect so we are here again and I'm gonna just highlight this one line click on stage selected ranges and now we can see this line has been staged so what we're seeing on the left hand side this is how the file looks like in the version control system or in our branch and whatever we have on the right hand side are the latest changes that we have retrieved but not yet committed so now since we have changed one line uh, we have staged one line it's available in the staged changes and we'll take a look at it uh, soon but now i'm going to stage the other line which i want to um, move as well now we can see just this one line is in in progress changes the rest two are showing up on the left hand side pane i'm going to do the same exercise over here and just move my completed change to the file and now there's an interesting thing that we are going to see so if i expand the git view there are the same file is coming up in two different uh, two different sections. One is the staged changes section and the other one is just the changes section. Right now we are over here but if I click on staged changes here we are able to see that what is going to be committed. So only the lines that we had partially staged or selectively staged are present on here. So only the changes that are completed are over here whereas the in progress changes that we did not that we did not stage are still left behind and now if i do a commit let's come up over here and say this is my partial commit i'm gonna commit this file and then i'm going to push this sfdx copado work push and this should go ahead and uh, push my changes to github and we'll be able to see them there as well oh okay apologies i have a local change over here i'm gonna discard that change first and we can try to rerun this command okay and let's open up the repository to see what's going on over there I'm gonna copy this URL open it up over here so we can see our feature branch 23 has a new commit over here if I click on this we'll see only the lines that we committed the partial lines that we had added have been committed into the feature branch the in progress changes the other in progress changes that are present in the dev environment but not in the uh, uh, but 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 are in progress and should not be moved are still uh, haven't been committed so this is how we can achieve partial committing behavior and now just like normal we can go ahead and click on the promote and deploy which is going to deploy just these two changes uh, just these few and uh, completed changes over to the next environment and not everything we should see our uh, commit over here built uh, the commit over here and the user story metadata is present over here as well and like we saw in github only the completed changes only the uh, uh, only the partial changes that we have committed are going to be deployed and if i come back to my vs code i can see the file again it only has those uh, it only has our completed changes but if I retrieve it again from my dev environment we'll start seeing those in progress changes uh, come up as well so 
we can see that line number 8 and 29 and 30 are back and now if we are ready to move them as well we can either stage the whole file because we know we want to stage all three changes or again if there are still uh, something that is in progress we can leave that behind and only stage um, selected lines again like we did in the last example and that's how we can achieve and do partial commits using Coparo. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.